All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 22. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue dividing and we're gonna continue using that standard algorithm. Uh, the difference this time is we're gonna be uh, dividing bigger problems so that we're gonna have two and three digit quotients. So we're increasing the complexity a little bit. Plus, we're gonna continue using number sense because we don't want just a plain old algorithm that students memorize. We really want all this to make sense to the students. And we're going to be using that classic checking technique to verify that we did our division correctly. So we're going to divide here, and we're going to use a little bit of skip counting to make sure we're doing everything correctly. And we're going to put 399 inside the house, so to speak. We're going to put 31 outside the house. Um, first off, teachers, uh, pay attention. Remember, a lot of students want to put this first number outside and the second number inside the house. So we got to straighten them out. And both of these examples also, students are supposed to read it as 399 divided by 31. This is also 399 divided by 31. A lot of students want to incorrectly call this 300, uh, 31 divided by 399. So we got to straighten our students out and make sure they're using the proper vocabulary. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're, let's think about... Uh, this. So this is three hundreds, this three right here. And can we take three hundreds and divide it into 31 little sections? No. Nah. So now we're going to scooch over and we're going to include both digits here, three and the nine. So we're going to think of this as 39 tens. That's because the nine is in the tens column. So can we take 39 tens and separate it into 31 groups? Yes, we can. So the idea is, well, how many? So we're going to use a little bit of estimation, and we're going to take that 31, and we're going to think of it as 30. And let's do some skip counting. 30, 60, 90, 120, that's good enough right there. And we know if we want 39 tens, we can't go to 2 per group, because that would be 60 as our estimation. So it's only going to be 1. So I'm going to put in a 1 right here. So 31 goes into 39 one time. That's actually pretty obvious. But we're using this skip counting just to get students familiar with it for when it isn't so obvious. So we've got 110, because that's basically what that means, times 31. So 1 times 31 gives us 31. And I could write it over here. 1 times 31 equals 31. And then, so we're going to subtract and of course we get 8. Now that's not an 8, that's 8 tens. And then 8 tens, and then we're going to include this 9, so now we have 8 tens plus 9 ones, so that's 89, right? 89 ones. And we're going to go over here to our skip counting, and we see 30, 60, 90. Well, 90 is too much, so it's not 3 times, it's only going to be 2. So 31 goes into 89, we're going to estimate two times because 30, 60, and then 90 is too much. So 30, 60. So let's go over here on scratch paper. 31 times 2 is 62. Boy, let me try 31 times 3 just to see what happens. 31 times 3 is 93, and yep, sure enough, that's too much because we wanted no larger than 89. So 39 is... Uh, 3 is too much, so we're going to use 31 times 2. And that's pretty much what our estimation said over here anyway. So we're going to say 31 goes into 89 two times. So 31 times 2, and we already have it over here, it's 62. So teachers, I always try and get the students into thinking about, you know, do the math on the left, bunch of scratch work on the right. And I just get them used to it. In fact, uh, oftentimes on my binder paper, I will tell them they have to fold the paper longwise, hot dog style, and their, the right side of the paper is their scratch work, and the left side of the paper is their actual mathematics, right? So uh, maybe get used to that. So anyway, we're going to put 62 right here, and now we can subtract. 9 minus 2 is 7. 8 minus 2, I mean, 8 minus 6 is 2, and then we are done. So our answer is 12 with a remainder of 27. Now, how do we check? 
Well, we need to check using multiplication. So we are going to, I'll do the check down here in blue. So we're going to do 31 times 12. 31 times 12. is 372, but then up here, 372, we're going to add in our remainder of 27, and sure enough, we get 399, which is exactly what we wanted. So that tells us that our answer of 12 with a remainder of 27 is probably correct. More of the same, just a different problem. So we're going to write 820 inside the house, 42 outside of the house, and we're going to be prepared to use our skip counting for 40, you know, because 42 rounds down to 40. So that would be like 40, 80, 120, 160, etc. All right, so let's go over here. First digit is an 8, so that's 800s. Can we do 800s divided into 42 groups or divided by 42 groups? Nope. So we're going to go to 82. So that's 82 tens. Can we take 82 and divide by 42? Yeah, yes we can. We're going to do a little bit of estimation over here, and it looks like it goes in only one time, because two times, mm, two times is 80. That's actually looking good. So let's go over here on scratch work and check it out. So we're going to do 42 times 2. Ah, 84. Too big, because we only wanted 82. So that means, of course, we have to do 42 times 1, and that's, of course, 42. Teachers, I always tell my students, don't erase your scratch work. Just draw a line, do your scratch work over here, and leave it alone, because it might actually come in handy later. So we know it goes in one time. So 42 goes into 82 tens one time. So that's 42, we subtract, and we get 40 left over. So that's 40 tens left over. And then we can bring down that zero. So now we have 400 ones. And oh my goodness, look at all this over here. So we're going to just keep going. So 160 plus another 40 is 200, 240, 280, 320, 360, 400. Oh my goodness. So how many? How, we're going to count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, you're not allowed to go to 10, right? Because we need a single digit here in this spot. So 9 is our maximum that we're allowed to use. So let's do that over here on scratch paper just to make sure. So 42 times 9, that's 18. Carry the 1. 36 plus 1 is 37, and that's sure enough, that's less than 378. I mean, uh, that's less than 400. So that means we get to use 9. And we already know that that's 378, so I'm going to put it right there, and I'm going to subtract. And that equals 22. And since 22 is less than 42, that means we kind of are reasonably correct so far. And so our answer is 19 with a remainder of 22. So let's check that. Let's check it using red. So we're going to do 42 times 19. And we get 18, 370, put the 0, 2, 4, add. So you get 798. But then we're going to take that 798 and we're going to add in our remainder, which is 22. And that gives us 820. Since 820 is what we started off with over here, that probably tell, that tells us we're probably right. Their answer is 19, remainder 22. And the last problem for this slide uh, video, it says, when dividing 878 by 31, so when dividing 878 by 31, a student finds a quotient of... 28 with a remainder of, of 11. Check the student's work and use the, stu uh, use the check to find the error in the solution. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know what the error is. So let's do the math. Let's see what's going on here. So I'm going to think of my skip counting for 30s. 30, 60, 90, 
120. And that's good enough. Let's stop there. So let's do, let's see, 31, 8 divided by 31. Well, we can't do that. But 87 divided by 31, we can do. So that's 87 tens divided by 31. And my estimation over here says, eh, it's probably going to be 2, because 90 is too much. So it's probably going to be 2. So let's go over here on scratch work. 31 times 2 is 62, but that's pretty far away from 7, 87. So let's, let's try 31 times 3, and we get 93. Ah, stinker, that's too big. So we know it's going to be 2. So we're going to put 2 right there, and we know the answer is 62 when we multiply. So now we could subtract, and we get 25. So that's 25 tens. We're going to drop the 8. And if we look over here in our skip counting, we're going to have to keep going a little bit. So that's 150, 180, 210, 240, 270. Okay, we've got to stop there. So let's see. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's try 8 because 9 is clearly too much. So let's try 8. So let's do 31 times 8 over here on scratch paper. And we get 248. That's beautiful. So that means we know it's, we're going to put an 8 up here. And then that's going to give us 248. And I see the mistake that the student made. We get 10 when we subtract. So what's the, the remainder? The remainder should be 10. And so this student who has a remainder of 11 clearly goofed up on that last step, somehow got 11 instead of the correct answer, which is 10. Now technically, we should go over here and we should multiply and check our own work. And I'll do it in red. Technically, we should do 31 times 28. That's 31 times 28. Get the answer and then add in 10. I'm going to save that step for you teachers and parents. Let you work on that on your own. And that wraps up 5th grade module 2 lesson 22 using that standard algorithm to, to divide and get 2 and 3 digit quotients.